Hi there. In this culture chat, we thought we'd check in with colleagues to see how they're rethinking their engagement with other parts of the university and indeed with our partners outside. How are we engaging with donors and alumni? How are we maintaining or even strengthening the relationships we have with colleagues within the university? Joining us in this culture chat are Rosie Ogilvie, our Vice Principal Advancement, and Lisa Fennis from the Sydney Policy Lab. Uh, so, Rosie, COVID-19 has changed how most of us do our work. What activities are you focusing on during the pandemic? So, Lisa, I, it, it perhaps sounds a little bit trite, but I think it's trite because it's so true so often, um, which is this particular moment in time, we're very aware of the power of being connected to others and connected to the university for our supporters and our alumni community. And that's what we've really been focusing on for the last few months. And there are a couple of ways in which we're doing that by simply reaching out to some of our alumni, particularly those who may be a little bit more vulnerable. So we are doing what we're calling a care calling program for um, all our older alumni over a certain age group, just to check in, say hello, but also to uh, give them some direction into some of the interesting parts of the University of Sydney's website, our podcast program and um, uh, some information on COVID-19. We've launched a student bursary appeal that's had over 180 donors so far and has actually been incredibly powerful as a way for donors to feel like they're connected to not only solving a problem, but to real people at the other end of, of their giving. There's a beautiful example that came through a few weeks ago of a lady who's nearly 80 now, and she said in her note that it came with her gift that she'd not realised at the time but how lucky she was to have had a Commonwealth scholarship. And um, even though she was in very serious financial trouble now, actually making a gift to support a real student at the other end of, of her donation was really meaningful to her and made her feel like she was making a contribution to solving a problem. So um, there are an incredible number of ways for our community to connect to us. And um, it's really moving sometimes to see how it, how it happens. And in a moment where there's so much uncertainty, but also there's so much, um, such a strong sense of frustration across the world that um, there's so much powerlessness sort of in the ether at the moment to be able to take a step of just pure optimism which is to make a gift for something to get better or to volunteer your time to improve something is more important than ever and it's a fantastic way in which um, our portfolio is here to help the university. So Lisa, um, how's the policy lab uh, addressing the current challenges? Uh, so at the lab we think one of the most important things we can do always, but especially in moments like these, is to be really committed to using your resources and expertise um, to try and make a difference in the lives of people around us. There were quite a few people uh, who uh, had signed up for lab class because uh, we do that a couple of times a year. And so we decided to just, you know, take a bit of extra time, but take it online. You know, we talked a lot about partnerships and collaboration a relationship beyond the university and just equally as important it's it really connects people from across campus and different disciplines different schools and we always hear that that's one of the things that people um, enjoy most of it because it's with like-minded people who all care about this work and then this other thing that we did which is quite different but equally as important was trying to figure out how uh, we could sort of lean into this moment and harness the policy expertise at the university um, to try and make a difference so uh, we've come out with a number of policy pa papers for um, Australian policymakers who, you know, have had to face um, difficulties in making really uh, tricky decisions in recent months, and that will still uh, continue for a while. Um, and all those pa uh, papers focused on a question around what do policymakers need to do to deal with enormously complex questions revealed by the COVID-19 pandemic. So they covered issues like the future of migration and democracy, um, the easing of lockdown. You know, the papers are ongoing and they'll keep on going as long as they are needed in this time. Um, but one of the special things that we have noticed is that even though we're all apart, the bringing together of people from across disciplines and experiences, you know, ethicists talking to epidemiologists, philosophers to public health specialists, it remains super important to, to you know, solve the problems that we're, that we're facing today. Great to hear from Lisa and Rosie there. 
and a timely reminder that our work at the university will always be about responding to the big challenges confronting our society.